In this topic, we are going to discuss about the role of non-expatriates. Now, this is a very interesting term and a very interesting concept. Uh, we have always been discussing about expatriates or inpatriates in international human resource assignments. And uh, this is a type of international assignment which is neither uh, the assignment of expatriate or that of in uh, of inpatriates. So it is something which is very interesting and when I will talk about it, you will realize that yes, these are people who actually do a lot of work in international assignments, but we haven't really talked about them. Uh, so what are non-expatriates? Non-expatriates are employees who do not relocate to another country, but are on constant international travel. So uh, you may have heard that people who are working in multinational organizations or um, who are working in, um, in organizations who have uh, export function, for example, um, and do not have any kind of subsidiary in another country, uh, there are a lot of people who go on these uh, uh, international travel assignments and keep going on these travel uh, international assi travel assignments very frequently. So, for example, uh, in, in Pakistan, there are a number of uh, uh, textile um, uh, organizations who sell abroad, who sell in America, who sell in Europe, who sell in China, who sell in a number of places because Pakistan has got really good fabric um, uh, quality. Uh, so there are a number of people who are on constant international travel, uh, who are looking for uh, new clients and serving the uh, current ones. And uh, they do not actually relocate or move to another country, but they keep on moving on international assignments and keep on traveling continuously. Uh, these people, they spend time visiting foreign markets, uh, subsidiary units, and international projects. So they are on a constant uh, commute from their home country to various different places because of the nature of their job. For example, if there is a technical skill which is required uh, to be fulfilled at various different uh, um, uh, plants in th that are located in different countries and uh, it is not really important to um, uh, have a fixed permanent position in each of, in a, each of that subsidiary, uh, of, uh, subsidiary plant, uh, then one person may be given this position to move around various different plants that are located in different countries to be fill, uh, filling up that technical gap. And it is also possible that that technical skill is not available in those host countries respectively and therefore a person from the parent country needs to continuously go on international assignments to uh, fulfill that technical gap over there. So there could be a number of reasons why, um, uh, why the multinational organization would hire uh, people who are on continuous international travel. So there are very interesting popular terms for these people who are on continuously international travel. They are, poor, they are called road warriors. They are called globe trotters. Uh, they are called frequent flyers. And they are called flex patriots as well. So these are very interesting terms for them. Flex patriot because they are not expatriates and they are not actually permanently residing in the home country either. So they are moving around, so they are called flex patriot and globe trotters. They trot the globe all over. So these are the different interesting terms that are given to these non expatriates. Uh, most of these non expatriates are given international sales assignments, and these are international sales representatives. So you know that sales representatives are always on a continuous travel. So domestic sale representatives are also continuously traveling from one city to the other, or if they are based in one city, they are traveling from one um, uh, client to the other. So sales wala jo kaam hai, wo continuously moving around ka hai. So jab aap usko international level pe le jaate, to international sales representatives jo hain, wo 
they go on a global assignments and then that is why they are continuously flying and moving around. So these people, they attend trade fairs, they visit foreign agents and distributors, they demonstrate new products to potential clients and they negotiate the sales contracts. So these are various different assignments that they do in their international travel. Uh, but this type of assignments is really something which is challenging, which is demanding, and which can be done by somebody who, has, uh, who is really fit, physically fit. A person who is not physically fit will not be able to travel continuously because you know there are so many issues of travel and then jet lags and all that. So there are a number of stressors for these non-expatriate people, although it may sound very exciting that you are moving around the entire globe, but it becomes really stressful when it becomes a continuous part of your life. So there are a number of stressors that come, uh, come across, uh, that these people, they come across. Number one is for home and family issues. Uh, these people, they cannot definitely settle down and they cannot stay at one place. And definitely, in order to, um, uh, in order to have a peaceful and successful home and family life, it is important that the person is present over there. So if the person is not present, then definitely the, um, the spouse and the children, they are going to feel the absence of the person and that is going to cause different type of issues and stress for the family life. Uh, then various uh, work arrangements, they can serve as a stressor. Uh, the domestic side of the job that has to be attended. So these people who are on the international travel continuously, they are also, they have a domestic job, a fixed job, which they have to serve uh, at, in, in the place where they are permanently located. So there is a lot of clash and there is a lot of uh, uh, demand from the domestic job as well as the international assignments. And then what happens is that uh, in today's time, because of the technological advancement, uh, people can be, uh, you know, they can be contacted, they can be accessed, they can be sent emails and documents and everything uh, while they are on travel. They can be sitting on an airport and getting a call from their uh, uh, home base and uh, uh, in which they have got to solve some crisis which is happening over there. So it becomes, although it uh, improves the efficiency of the people, it becomes really demanding and challenging for them to be managing so many things at one time. Then uh, another stressor is that of travel logistics. Uh, these people, they have to manage airline connections, hotel accommodations, and meeting schedules, and there isn't any routine. It's not a nine to five thing. Uh, it's possible that you, be may, you may be coming out of the flight at 12 a.m. and then you've got to meet a client uh, in, in, at, at, um, uh, at six in the morning or seven in the morning because, uh, uh, because of the time differences. According to your schedule, it's 6 a.m. in the morning, but according to the country that you've gone in, that is something that is 10 a.m. in the morning. So for you, it is going to be really difficult to you know, manage all these schedules. So that leads to a number of health concerns because uh, uh, you, if you are on a continuous travel, you've got poor diet, uh, you cannot have an exercise routine, there is lack of, uh, of sleep, then there, you have to cope with jet lag, and then there could be exposure to viruses and other health uh, problems. For example, a person who continuously travels, uh, they face uh, deep vein thrombosis, which is something which, is, uh, which can be pretty difficult to uh, then manage. So these are all the things which, are, uh, which can become an issue and uh, a concern for health for people who are uh, in expatriate assignments. And then finally, host culture issues are uh, stresses for these um, non-expatriates because uh, studies show that these non-expatriates, they are not given cultural awareness training as the expatriates are done, uh, as given. Uh, expatriates who are sent to foreign locations for a permanent job and for a longer period of time, they are given this cultural awareness training, but these non-expatriate people they are expected to learn it on their own, and uh, it is something which is neglected in terms of these people. So uh, they are supposed to uh, know about the host country culture, and it's something which becomes, which could become a major stressor for them if they are not 
uh, familiar and knowledgeable about the culture of the host country. So these are the various different stressors that uh, non-expatriate uh, um, employees they may be facing and therefore the organization needs to take care of uh, these non-expatriate employees because they are doing a very important job for the organization. And um, uh, for that, uh, it must be uh, taken into account that a person must be really physically fit so that he can take all, he or she can take all this stress and, uh, uh, and, and be able to cope with these particular stresses. 